Hello, good people. So in this series of the video, I want to show you how I usually fame farm in black zones. So usually people going to portals, one of the portals, whichever they are linked, and go out on these zones and start fame farming or they go deeper to the zones and fame farming wherever portal you are but there is a a little bit better way of fame farming without going that much trouble and um, really passing by a couple of zone getting to something like this which gonna be crowded with the people who come the same way so the thing is in this uh, black zone area there are cities like this symbols here um, there are one up here which is Morgana rest the other one is kind of like here southwest and it's Arthur rest and uh, the other one is on the east side and is Merlin rest which if you're looking at the map it's gonna be like one two three I like to play on this one with the reasons that I'm gonna explain so in a Merlin rest if you click on a city right this moment that we have uh, making this video we have kitchen and butcher and all the resource refining and crafting there so I can craft and refine anything I needed over there except the things like uh, my uh, robe and things like that so I can buy those things if I need it it's uh, there is a market there it's gonna be a little bit more expensive but there is a way to obtain whatever I need also the main thing and uh, the main reason I'm going there is this zone exactly outside of the city which is a tier 7 kind of like a uh, tree and hide and a stone zone so here is a good area for fame farming tier 7 mobs and if you find any uh, enchanted solo dungeons it's really good here so th this area is the one that we really want to focus on it uh, so to get into this here it looked like it's a really dangerous place to go and uh, pass through to get to this one but in reality you are gonna go uh, risking only uh, maybe one horse like tier 3 horse cost which is like 10k silver so you come uh, invisible out of here and go through this area here and get to this exit and as soon as you get here you continue going this way and when you got to this one you're gonna go through this one here and this is the only really dangerous path that you need to cross and uh, after you cross this part here you're gonna end up on this one so you're gonna go north and then you're gonna end up here and you're gonna go west and you are in here i'm gonna show you how gonna be and uh, show you that it is not really dangerous to do it um look at my silver is zero right now so even if you are starting the character after you're getting to tier 4 you can do this so let's um, go to the portal Blimhurst portal and um, let's buy a horse a tier 3 horse and if you see I'm naked nothing and uh, let's grab some silver uh, like uh, let's grab 12k just in case that is a little bit expensive here okay so you need 10 to 12k silver that's all you need 
let's go to market yep. and month and riding horse tier 3 10k 11k so you're risking 11k all right let's equip it and let's see so we need to go to this here high tree step which is uh, I think is not this one uh, this one yeah okay this one high tree step we go here and uh, we're gonna go to west so mounting up start going to west okay uh i know the shortest road is this way i usually do this so i, s I can kind of like navigate the things that gonna be blocking me on the road so i'm just running fast as possible trying to minimize the stops and things like that and Let's see. So we're getting out and we're going northeast. So this way. It should be in this long to the like exit almost. Let's see. The guy gonna get ganked there. We don't care. We're just passing through as fast as possible. The blob over there. We need to pass by without a stop or anything. We are naked, so even if we die, we're just losing 10k silver. So, no worries there. The only thing is, you're just wasting, if you die, you're just wasting a little bit time of doing this. But the reward is worth it. Okay, now. We are going that way. This is the only time that you kind of vulnerable this map. And because of the number of the guild that they are in here, you kind of vulnerable. Otherwise, you should be fine pass it by. As you can see, there is a like war happening and all those things. Oh my god, this is block. So we need to go actually around it. Okay. There is a lot of people in here right now and it's not a good time to pass through, but I want to show you that even with this kind of people, whatever you're risking is like 10k on a horse so not really troubling you but obviously try to dodge anything you can dodge so we are going to pass through this Pass through this. And 
just pass through pass through so uh, the point is to get there seriously you don't need anything after you got there you can buy and craft or refine or gather whatever you need over there so I spend 10k and get there that 10k maybe be like 20k that's all like two two time or maybe three time that's all it's not like thousands of thousands of the silver you're losing and things like that so this is just I need to dodge everything right now the, like the health of my mount so yeah uh, getting to the exit if you watch it and your health doesn't go down you should be fine okay now you just need to pass through this way and you should be there no problem so we go this way and this is the only dangerous place in this map people live sometimes ganking here but that's all as you can see with the 10k I got there to here Merlin rest so as soon as you get here the whole point of getting here is you see this travel docu uh, travel guy there is a parchment paper thingy on this sign here beside it like between the market and this travel guy this guy you click on it and set Merlin list as a home so now you can sell your horse you can put it on a bank you can do whatever you want to do and I'm gonna put it in here as you can see I was before a year before and no problem so now you are naked but because you set this thing as a home now you can go to your island private or guild or wherever you can go wherever and just go to your travel guy wherever you are and choose Merlin rest because it's your home you're gonna have it the only time that you're gonna lose it if you go to the portal from here and enter the outside like outland uh, any zone then you're gonna lose it and you need to walk back again there otherwise you can go to there again you can uh, come here grab your stuff and go here yeah uh, take the invisibility shrine or even this this is safe come here go in do fame farming here as much as you can this is a tier 7 so mobs are gonna give you a lot of fame and even if you die here usually I do fame farming with tier 4 here and because I'm kind of like high uh, tier on a thing that I'm wearing I'm fine with the tier 4 but even not you're just risking in this map here 
that's all you risk in it here you can gather here as much as you want you can fish here tier 7 fish hide tier 6s and sometimes tier 7 you can go on this guys uh, these are tier 7 flat dungeons solo dungeons um, black zone uh, mist um, as you can see everything you can have like the things that make money for you you have them <laughs> I got like 1000 here so like even if I die right now I have a thousand of that horse so it's gonna cost me 9k to buy one more not 10k so this is the best way that you can come and fame farm and uh, if uh, what you can see here like people are fame farming here and you don't see any far, uh, mob yet but there is always a lot of mobs that you can they respond back fast and also um solo dungeons a lot of solo dungeons here for fame farming tier 7 solo dungeons and uh, resources so if you bring your tools and stuff or you buy tools here or whatever you can see you can get a lot of resources and uh, as you can see kind of quiet like even if you die even everything goes wrong you lo not losing a lot and you are in the middle of the black zone the, like things you're gonna see like this is normal here and um, the enchantment of the map also is 14 percent so it's high and you're gonna find a lot of enchanted things and look nodes like this you can gather that if you want it sell it on the market at the arteries or merlin uh, or um, take it to the city if you want to walk back with it or somehow anyway you see like and also right th now that we're talking there is a like a um, public hideout here I'm hearing somebody fame farming there but um, yeah this guy here gonna be a public hideout because it's blue on a map like here so and also chest obviously mm. inside the castle thingy but here you can go in and uh, use as long as this hideout is up use whatever they have to offer you um, let's get to the you can make this hideout your home too but I don't recommend it so what they have here is uh, they have refining wood uh, if you press N you're gonna see the things that here they are getting so uh, these are if we growing anything here which we don't refining is 15 percent and um, bows and stuff like mm, some crafting a station getting things but if this guy getting the somehow uh, territory around them they can have this much bonuses on their food supplies if they grow it you can use this guys like hide guy here also and uh, actually this guy is starving so you can't craft but uh, you can bring your food and feed them is not that far so like this is the closest thing that you can use to the but this is not your like goal of doing this uh, your goal is fame farming here your goal is to um, like 
level up your gathering here because it's tier 7 or uh, level up your weapon gears and things like that all right and uh, there is a one hideout in this oh uh, there is a lot of people here we're just dodging them uh, over there also huh, a lot of people here so but you don't need to really engage them if you don't want it because they are like you if anybody is here is not for ganking or stuff like that it's more like take advantage of whatever it is here so it's safe fish not really safe safe don't get me wrong you still getting attack and things like that but i'm gonna show you my build and things like so you can understand it's gonna be really really cheap to do it and you have the chance of getting these kind of things if you want it and uh, let me go there i want to show you my build that i'm using in here so even if i die i'm gonna waste like almost nothing so get one of your set to level 100 so i got my damage to level 100 so i wear this and i am full respect on these guys and then let's say uh, i'm gonna use just this one and let's say I want to level up this. This is all I worth. 18k. Even if I die, I lose 18k of worth. Nothing much. So worth it to go out. Like just go out like this. And just start killing mob. Four or five mobs. Even if you die, you good. I have. Uh But if you are careful about it and uh, you focus, you can gather a lot of fame farming here. Let me see. They are fame farming here too. So let's say let's say this guy. Seven hundred fame just for that guy. It take me less than a second to kill it with a tier 4 flat thingy so worth nothing look here you can go in this case even if we die like somebody comes in and kill us oh there's somebody in here let's make sure
so <clears throat> and because what you're doing is in a black zone you're getting some uh, what is this called uh, some of this mate so you, you're slowly slowly progressing this and leveling up your stuff too Remember, this is a tier 7 dungeon and I'm doing it with a tier 4 flat. that's it this is gonna be all day you can see it here <laughs> I need to bring something better like cape wise I can use better cape but this is what you're doing here you're gathering as much as you can and uh, go back there get naked go to your royal continent island and do whatever you'd like to do there again whenever you feel like it to do some kind of content on a black zone at least for the fame farming you come here and de do this you can keep the ho uh, home as long as you want it or as you can see you can even lose a home and make the other home anywhere else and no problem making it is getting here it's not that hard to be and it's not expensive so even in the middle of the prime time and people are fighting and ganking and things like that if you come naked you're just risking 10k and usually people are bod not bothering you busy doing other stuff That we need uh, to be able to kill those guys fast before they hate me I need to kill that guy uh -huh. one more all right so I'm, I'm just gonna finish this and go back to this uh, Merlin rest and we're gonna be done for the video I'm just because we are here why not and we're getting the fame so let's see uh,
just need a little bit else and also I need this and this and this Oi. and this Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can do this guy with this bow. I mean, I can, but it's gonna take long and it's gonna be a long video for just opening a normal chest. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go out. Okay. And let's go back there. As 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 you can see, there is like a seven stone and seven wood, big nodes. So if you are a gatherer, you can bring your gathering or buy gathering tools here and go gather those. If you wanna transport them to city. You need to a little bit um, check the area, find the best route to do it, but it's not hard and it's not impossible. You can do it. Yes, you may lose it, but imagine how safe you gather it. Even if you're losing it, you're not really spending a lot of time to get in it. So it's not going to be that hard. Anyway, uh, so we made 8K to I had zero and uh, no I think I lost something because I don't know why but anyway so we're gonna do this and just walk to travel guy and go to our island okay guys please don't forget to like the video and if you are not subscribed in my channel please consider to subscribe in my channel uh, i'm gonna try to show you different contents on the black zone when we go there again on the different uh, videos of it but for now thank you for watching and i'll see you in next video